Hey, this is Brother Jeff. I'm going to help you get started with the uh, Storyline Games in the template library. Now, the Storyline Games are designed to, uh, to be used inside of uh, Storyline at any point of your course. Now, the way that you install these games is by navigating to a game, and um, you can get a preview of it for what the, how the game is going to function. And then pretty much all you have to do is click on the download button. Once you click on the download button, it will download to your course or to your desktop. And uh, all you have to do is pretty much click on that uh, download. If it downloads to your download section, then all you have to do is double click on this. Once you've double clicked on it, um, Storyline will pop up itself and it will actually show you the game that you just clicked on and you can either import it or you can hit cancel. If you hit cancel, this means that you can open up any project or create a completely new project and anytime you click on new slide, um, you can go in and see your game as part of the drop down box here. Now if you've downloaded the game um, more than once, you'll notice that it will show up more than once. Um, and so if you wanted to get rid of that, you would actually have to go into the uh, documents area. But we'll talk about that here in a second. Um, now what you need to do in your downloads area is you don't actually need this file anymore. So you can go ahead and select all of that and just delete all the different templates that you've downloaded. The reason why is because these templates now exist inside of your Storyline install. Uh, well, actually inside of your documents area. So let's say if you did want to delete one of those games, you have too many of those, um, then you can come into your um, doc or sorry, your documents area, and you'll notice the My Articulates project. Double click on the My Articulates project, and you'll notice the Storyline Templates folder. Double click into the Storyline Templates folder, and this is where you can see all the different uh, templates that you've installed from the template library. Now, if you uh, want to get rid of anyone that has the number, oh, sorry, if you want to get rid of anyone that has the number two, this means that it's a duplicate, and if you don't want to be confused by it, then you can go ahead and delete those. Now, let's say that uh, we come out with a new version of a, st a storyline template. Um, you can check the new versions, or if there is any new versions, in the new version section. You, we will keep up to date with all the different versions when they were released. And so if you do download a new version, before you click on it to install it, what I recommend is coming into your documents, the, your My Articulate projects, your storyline templates, and first of all, deleting that, uh, that game. So I'm going to come into, for example, um, the Speedway game here that has a new version. I'll delete that and then download the new version and click on the new version. That way, when I go in and I start using the game, I have the latest version. It's uh, it's good to go and everything. So, now that's how you maintain your different storyline templates. That includes the layouts for the storyline templates. That includes any of the different interactions. That includes the games as well. And that's pretty much how you get uh, started with the games. Now from there, you can inside of any of your course, now go in and uh, see the different content here. Go into your game, click on the game, and click import. Now, all the games are set up uh, very similar. So whenever you import a game, um, the very first couple slides are going to be an introduction. The very first slide is just going to be a logo and a continue button. The second slide is going to be instructions. Now the instructions are um, something for you just to go in and type yourself. And then from there on, all the different layers, if you just move your way from the bottom to the top, um, you'll go through all the different question layers. Now in each question layer, most of them have a correct layer and most of them have an incorrect layer. This allows you to provide correct and incorrect feedback. Now some of them do not have an incorrect layer because they will just show a red X or something like that. Um, so keep that in mind uh, That's for the most part, most of them should have a correct feedback area, but most of them should not. Now, all of them do have multiple choice answers with the exception of, uh, of the card stack where you just drag and drop your answers in. Um, but in this case, you come in here and uh, just select your answer and type in whatever you want. You can change the fonts and the colors and everything like that. Now the way that we've set up the interactions is in order to count this as correct, it always goes to a question one dash incorrect or a question one dash correct if it's correct, question one dash incorrect if it's incorrect. 
So by changing your answer, let's say option B is going to be the correct answer. Um, then I come to option one, change that to go to question one incorrect. And then option two, change that to go to, or option B in this case, to go to question one dash correct. Now this is works the same way across all the different games with the exception of the boot camp and, uh, and the uh, game show ones. Those ones you have to change a couple more um, variables and so I recommend going through those videos and making sure you have those different variables. Um, and then that's pretty much it. Uh, all of them will play a sound when you hover over them. Um, all of them will play a sound when you click on them. And then all of them you just go through once you've uh, filled out question one, question one correct, and question one incorrect. You just repeat the process for question two. Repeat the process for question two correct and uh, make your way all the way up here. Now all of them do have a variable that says the, the, the title of the game and then the number of questions. If I go into the variable section, um, you'll notice the speedway, in this case, number of questions. But if it's the game show, it would be game show number of questions. Or if it's the card stack, it would be card stack number of questions. And it will always show the default number of questions that can be asked, which is the maximum number of questions. Um, now you can change that to be lower if you wanted to not ask 20 questions. If you wanted to ask five, for example, you can change that as well. Um, and so that's for the most part, that's how you set up the number of questions that are going to be asked in all of the different interactions or all the different games. Uh, now, all of the games also have variables that start with the letter Z. Now, these variables are variables that we recommend you do not change. If you change those variables, uh, you may run into some issues with the game working properly. So, uh, again, that's the why that's why we started them with the letter Z. They still have the name of the game, but uh, that we started with the letter Z, so they actually do not um, are are show up at the bottom first of all, but uh, so you can recognize that those ones you should not change. So, and that's um, pretty much it. All of the games will have a results page that you can change the different heading text. Some of them will show uh, a percentage or a final quiz score, uh, which in this case this one does. It also shows a percentage. And then some of them also have the question um, counter. So you can see what question you're at out of how many questions you have. Um, and you could modify that. You can change out the graphics and everything, but we'll show you that how you go in and visually change some of the games in a different tutorial. But that's how you get started with the uh, storyline games inside as, as a whole inside of um, Articulate Storyline. You can also add other games into your course. Once you've added one game, you can go in, select a different game, and go through the same process. And just keep in mind that uh, on the main slides you do, or the main layers, you do have different instructions and these instructions are are designed to help you uh, with this what with what can be changed within that layer. So, all right, that's how you get started with the storyline games.